with that wind he kicks it almost completely out of the end zone it'll come out on the 20 yard line off a play fake Saka rolls to the right throws on the move complete for a first down he hits David Jacob the tight end OJ McDuff at wide receiver number 45 Saka on third down has time over the middle Richardson, one of the wide men. He's over to the short side. Now Smith pulling back. Under pressure. Drops off the screen. Incomplete for Stewart, the fullback. And that screen was set up beautifully, but it was Andre Collins, number 31, the inside backer, that was draped all over David Smith, who was playing on a very tender knee. Everyone says he has All-American potential, and they add down the road. It is so tough for a freshman. Green bursts through a huge hole, challenging that defense inside the 35-yard line. The fullback brought down by Lee Osmond. This time, John, they'll go back with Jacob and Young as a double tight. Timpson, the lone wide man on second and five. They'll power with Thompson. Ball comes loose in the middle. Joe Paterno said last night, there is no reason for our running backs to fumble. And Alabama has it. And Smith, who has been throwing on first down, fires it complete to Greg Payne. They have a violation against the receiver. He went out of bounds and came back in. It's a loss of down penalty with no yardage. Smith under pressure, pulls away, and throws it complete. Marco Battle. Smith to throw it again on the run, and it's complete for the first down to the 12-yard line. Greg Payne, the receiver, and Alabama with an impressive drive featuring the pass. Shaw lined up in front of Hill in the eye. They'll toss to Hill. Tries to sweep to the right, and a great defensive play by Johnson. And this field goal by Doyle, a 32-yarder. No good. Doyle misses the 32-yard field goal. Here's Thompson. Breaks a tackle and comes for a first down. So the man who fumbles gets the ball on the next call and he responds with a 13-yard run before Mike Smith can bring him down. And there's an injured Alabama player, Gilbert. Third and seven for Saka and Penn State. Timpson slotted to the right. Saka with protection. Diving try by Thompson incomplete. Boy, two offensive linemen that time on Derek Thomas. He thought he was held. Standing right at his 25-yard line. Murray Hill fields it at the Bama 25. A little seam, and he's through. He's to the 40, the 45, down at midfield. Slick return, wasn't it? Russell, the tight end. And Smith, again, that pattern of throwing on first down. And this one complete to his tight end, Russell. Third and seven. Smith has time. Complete to Wimbley, number 32. So a variety of receivers being used here by Alabama. Hill and Shaw, the running back, split behind Smith. First down pass, that time deflected, and it was caught and intercepted by Penn State. Saka slips away and drops the ball and recovers it himself. Gets down on the ball quickly. And Smith again throwing on first down. It's Russell is tied in for a first down. Could not get that one off. Hit from the blind side, Andre Collins. And the speedster for Penn State awaits it on his own 30. They pour in on him. 
There's no penalty marker down on that. Fair catch at the 36-yard line by Timpson. Gary Brown, who started last week against Syracuse. And on first down, Redmond not going anywhere. A fake to Brown. Saka steps up. Penalty marker is thrown. Going deep for Timpson. He's got it. But there is a penalty flag down. Timpson's in the end zone. It was thrown back in the direction where it might be a holding call. It's going to come back. It'll be holding against Penn State. You know what they do on first down. They've done it all day long. They hit Kent. And he's out across the 35-yard line. It'll be about a second and three for Alabama. throws and it is a first down pass is caught by great pain number six so first and ten again for Alabama they've dominated the clock but it's still scoreless he drops it off to Kent and another good first down gain to midfield third down and three for Alabama off a of fake Smith rifles a first down to Payne, and he's out of bounds at the 28-yard line. On first down, he throws complete to battle. That's inside the 20-yard line. Smith to put it up, and he's under pressure. He will not get it off as Quintus McDonald sacks him. You can see that heavily bandaged right leg. time Doyle makes it and Alabama scores first against Penn State still as a down lineman Saka under pressure did get it off just in time but what a whack he took in green comes down the sideline to the 40 yard line and Saka slowly gets up John Wolf number 82 in at one of the tight ends with Young on a double tight formation. Sacka to throw out of it. Has time. Complete to Timpson. And he is out of bounds at the 17 yard line. Straight back. Flush down in the pocket. On the run. Drops it off to his tight end. And he is brought down quickly by Charles Gardner. 36-yard attempt by Ray Tarassi to tie it for Penn State. He's got it up in two. We're deadlocked at three. They'll run Murray Hill. He slips free of a tackle and bolts out for a first down. Slot left with battle. Payne is outside of him. Smith rolls in that direction. Goes long to Payne. Intercepted. Picked off by Perry. And Perry is down at the 36-yard line. And at halftime, Rodney Peake, who's done a terrific job at USC, will be talking to Jim Nance. Watch Saka here. He throws complete. And McDuffie was juggling it and held on at midfield for a first 10. I asked the guy, is this, this wow. must be the best barbecue in America. He says, no, the world. <laughs> <laughs> didn't hold back at all. Whoa. Can't beat this Alabama hospitality. Third down now and 10. Back goes Saka. Fires it complete to the 45-yard line to McDuffie. Coming across with Charles Gardner, the defensive back who was on him, and clock running down toward 20 seconds. Trips wide to the right. Saka against the two-man rush. Everybody back. The freshman puts it into the corner of the end zone. And it falls incomplete. But they took a crack at it. So we've come to the end of the first half. Penn State three. Alabama three. Now Turner 
into that backfield along with Hill. Turner, the lead blocker, they fake the end around with Pierre Good, and there's an alley for Hill. Out near midfield before he is brought down. So they take the fake on the end around with Pierre Good, and he runs 21 yards before Eddie Johnson tackles him. Penn State has used 20 defensive players here this afternoon. That's typical of Joe Paterno using a lot of men on defense. This time, Smith is buried. 28, Chismar coming in on the blitz helps lead the way that time, so they throw the old safety blitz. They double him, and Smith can't get it off. Andre Collins, number 31, on this second and 10. They'll toss to Thompson. Green blocking, no hole there. All three of them really react to the ball, read the quarterback's eyes. The well, Rockettes, huh? <laughs> Those legs up on the stage. <laughs> Smith rolling. He throws complete to Russell, and Russell is out at midfield. A first down for Alabama on a 14-yard pass play. Shaw set in front of Hill in the eye. And this is Shaw. He bolts, breaks a tackle, still going inside the 40-yard line. Smith wants pain, and he's got it on the near side. Steps out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Smith back. Takes it. Penalty marker is down. Now he throws to Hill. But there's a penalty marker down back in the area of the protective pocket as Kent, number 30, was the receiver that time. He had replaced Hill. This is a third and four. Now they move Thomas over to the left side and stand him up. Off a of fake, they roll the other way, and Webb wraps him up. Murray Hill set to return. A low punt, he's got it at the 46. And he is down to the Penn State 44-yard line, where it'll be first to 10 all day long. Alabama has had the superior field position in this game. Third down now for the Crimson Tide. Four yards to go for the first down. Smith rolling to the right. Hits Russell for the first down. He's out of bounds at the Penn State 28-yard line. Now on third down. Under pressure. Gets it off. And it is complete. To the 13-yard line. And Greg Payne. And what a throw by Smith who was hammered. Castillo stays in the game. Pierre Good, flank wide, and he has stood up by Chismar. Brian Chismar. Moore, the punter, is the holder. And he's got it. Doyle's field goal puts Alabama ahead 6-3. Doyle kicking it off. McDuffie and Thompson. McDuffie botches it and then gets the handle on the first hop. He's in the Penn State backfield along with Thompson. Saka with Thomas closing in incomplete. So they have moved Derek Thomas' position now. They have been standing it up. Saka has got him coming from the other direction this time. So Thomas goes back, charges in from the right side, and now he's putting on a show that is reminiscent of one Cornelius Bennett. Thomas on the right side, and down goes Saka. They seal him up that time. State forced the punt. Third and seven. Shaw is in at fullback. And Smith, the left-hander, to throw it again. Incomplete. One at the tight end. Crowd wanted interference called on Chismar. Now they bring Thomas from the left side. He's picked up. Passes deflected by the middle of the defense. off a fake. Now 
he throws under pressure, incomplete. Nose man Wyatt out of the game because of an injury. Alabama going without him. Sack up. Here comes Thomas hanging on him. Incomplete. He wanted Timpson. Kendrick with the coverage. And Thomas was at his waist that time. Third down at seven. Jim also, congratulations to Johnny Majors. Here comes the old end around with Daniels. The defense ready again. Still short of the first down, and Penn State will have to punt. The toss play to Hill. Great block. And he's through to the 44-yard line. Double tight. And Smith on a roll to throw out of it. And it is incomplete. Intended for the tight end cross. First and 15. In the end zone, safety. Coming through is the big fella, number 55, Derek Thomas. Now all they need is one yard for a first down to keep the clock moving and control it. Turner is in front of Hill. Turner turns around. Straight ahead and stuffed. Did not get it. Shone Wolf leading the defensive charge, and he has played a whale of a game here for Penn State. The 17th punt of this game. Ten men up. Moore hangs another one high. He has kept Penn State pinned up, and he gets a bounce, and it'll be down inside the five. What a fabulous punting job by Moore here this afternoon. Here comes Brown again. He gets around Thomas this time. And he is out to near the 20. And Thomas comes from behind to help bring him down. What a great hustler number 55 is. Green and Brown, the setback. Sack at a throw, and it's deflected by you-know-who. Number 55 moved to the left side and knocked that pass down. Have you ever seen a defensive player take charge like this? Here's Green, and he's hit almost immediately as he takes the handoff. They must get to the 35 for a first down. Turner, the fullback, in front of Kent. This is Kent behind him. First down, Alabama. Third down and six. Here comes Hill again. Fumble. Ball is loose. Penn State's got it. Penn State at the 12-yard line comes up with a fumble at the 3.30 mark. And that's just what we say. The Penn State defense had to come up with some sort of play. And time beginning to run down on them. Saka back. Saka hit. Ball is free. And Alabama jumps on it. And you know who was right there. He said it was an incomplete pass. Now let's see if they can hold off the rush. Saka rolls the pocket. Here comes Thomas. Thomas has got him at the two-yard line. That's an incredible afternoon for number 55. Standing in his own end zone. Murray Hill for Alabama. Back to the 41-yard line. Coming up the middle. Crosses midfield. The penalty marker down as Hill breaks free. Hill on his feet. Cuts back at the 30. He's down at the 23. But there is a penalty flag down. Back at the other side of midfield. It could be a clipping call against Alabama. They toss to Kent. And they have forced a punt. They've got him out of bounds and forced a punt. And I want to remind everybody of the Penn State-Boston College game. Penn State blocked a punt in the last minute to set up a victory. I think they have to go for a punt, for a punt, punt block because their offense has just not been good. They've got to try to block the punt. Here come 10 men on the rush, and he does just get it off more. And Timpson's got it at the 22. Coming to the left. Cuts up, he is down at the 32, inside of a minute to go. That's probably their best field position of the second half. Short drop, 
Throws to Timpson complete near midfield. That'll stop the clock as they move the chains. The chains are set. Daniels and Timpson on that right side. Thomas off the block. Now Saka has to run, and he's down near midfield. And Joe's asking to use his last timeout. Thomas from the middle is bunched up. Saka throws down to the 20. Caught out of bounds, out of bounds, no catch. Daniels was the receiver, number 26. Keeps his backs in, and Thomas got through him that time, and it's intercepted by Osmond. That will do it. And it was Derek Thomas again, stepping inside the block of Gary Brown and applying the pressure to force the interception. First and 10 in Alabama will beat Penn State here this afternoon. And so Bill Curry, who yesterday celebrated his 46th birthday, gets what he needs most down here in Birmingham. A huge win over Joe Paterno and Penn State. Superman does it. Eric Thomas leads Alabama to an 8-3 victory. We'll come right back to Legion Field.